Oh, well, check this out. Music fans will love this. A magnificent coffee table book has come out called Sticks and Skins, paying homage to the world of drumming. And we are so honored to have with us the author and photographer of this beautiful book, Jules Follett, along with two of the Detroit area drummers featured in the book, Steve Bedalament, who's with us today, as well as Johnny B. Bedanchek. Thank you all for being with us. And just first of all, Jules, this thing is like... Eight pounds, you're telling me? Eight pounds, 564 pages, and 516 drummers. Amazing. What inspired you to, to, to make this book? Well, for many years, I did entertainment photography, so I would shoot headliners in concerts. And way in the back, there would be that drummer where the lighting was really bad. So I was challenging myself as a photographer. Sure. And so you, you, you started this how long ago? This book is going to be a year old in October. Okay. And I had asked Liberty DeVito, who was with Billy Joel many years, about what he thought about doing a coffee table book about drummers, and he said it's never been done. So you, you, you took not all of the pictures, but a lot of them. A lot of them, right. The, book, the beginning of the book is a dedication to Alyssa Wales, who was a uh, woman that passed away in 2005, and she was the drummer's photographer, so I wanted to dedicate and do tribute to her work. Uh -huh. any, any pictures in here that people look at and go, wow. Probably all Hopefully of them. Hopefully all of them, yes, yes. yes. Any that just, you know, certain stars well, that stick out? There's, there's a picture of Johnny that we went down to the Eastern Market and took, and that was a place of his choice to be photographed. And that was very edgy, and that's what he wanted to do, and many people comment on that photo. No kidding, no kidding. Um, who are some of, like, the big names in the book that people we might have, recognize? We have Ringo Starr. Um, Charlie Watts is in the book. Uh, Jim Keltner and Hal Blaine and Steve Gadd, the great session drummers. And uh, we have Jimmy Cobb and Jack Dijonat from the jazz community. Uh, we have some of the up-and-coming younger drummers like Marquise Johnson and uh, Liddell Abrams, who are from Detroit area. Um, so it's really, it's really about the drumming community and really about the drumming family. Now, Steve, a, a lot of people um, know you as being a Detroit area drummer, but also you are the only um, manufacturer of drums that are completely American-made, and it's done right here in Michigan, which is fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for doing Michigan-made. What do you like most about the book? What I like most about the book was uh, she elevated everybody who's a professional drummer who's dedicated themselves to this craft. She did all of us more than a solid by, she brought us out in the, in the forefront and she did it in such a classy and complete way. And it, the book is not anything less than artwork. It's, it's just beautiful. It's absolute artwork. It's done to the nines. It just draws you in, and I, I'm the first to admit, I, I don't know a lot uh, of, of, about drummers, because you always hear about the front men and that kind of thing, but it really is fascinating to hear these stories. Johnny B., why in the world did you have your picture taken in a trash heap? <laughs> well, I think, you know, it's like the tsunami of the groove. It's just it's such a big wave. When you get, in, when you get people dancing and, and feeling good, that wave, it can just mow down everything. So I thought that would be a good shot, and that was my reason for taking that picture like that. Because people always say when you play, there's such a groove. So I hear yeah. that. Speaking of playing, play something for us oh, now. Well. Thank you so much. Featured in Sticks and Skins, along with Steve Bedalament, and of course the author and photographer extraordinaire, Thank you. Jules Follett. Wonderful work. I've so enjoyed looking at it just for the few minutes I've seen it. And this is out in stores now. Enjoy it. Johnny B. Oh.